Hey, happy Tuesday. So everyone should be working on 26 and 27. If you need to refer to the slideshow, it's on the Monday right up here. Um, I've posted a bunch of photos and descriptions of what we want. So this is what slide 26 should look like with your basic outline and then you breaking it up into shapes and patterns of various sizes. Slide 27 is filled in with full value range shading, pattern, various sizes and shapes, large, mediums, and smalls. So here's several visual examples of the Cubist style showing you various patterns, value ranges for each and every day to kind of inspire you further. This is more of a modern twist. I like that one an awful lot. I don't care if you use color pencils, paint crayon, ink, markers, whatever you have available. I tried to make that open-ended for you. Now, on Wednesday, I posted this to inform you because I didn't say this to the first class. All assignments are posted for the rest of the school year. Due date is May 21st at 1.30 p.m. for seniors. Please read through them and plan now, smaller drawings will save you time. So that's the best recommendations I can make for you. So I did you guys a solid and I gave you extra credit and it's worth 50 points. Last semester it was only worth 20. So this is a substantial amount of points. You better look at it now and plan accordingly. The final is slide 28, seniors. Read about it now because it sounds challenging and hard and you have way less time than anybody else. So you got to, you know, use your time wisely. Like I said, artwork can be small to save you time. In a photograph, we don't know the difference, okay? So it's okay. Full value range is essential. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, ask me. So I'm just giving you class time all week. Remember, Friday the Cubist is due. I will gladly look at it now and give you feedback now. But you got to have a full value range. You got to have pattern. You got to have the various shapes. And look at all the examples that I'm giving you. Okay, so I put here slide 26 and 7 due today. And then next week, slide 28, which is a self portrait. Yeah. Yeah, let's look at those assignments now. Yes, because you've learned more skills and it's a sketch, just observational. So let's look at it. You already know what 26 and 27 are. Here's all the requirements of the rubric. Slide 28 is a full color self portrait drawing or painting demonstrating your skills in creating a self-portrait that demonstrates an understanding of observational drawing and skills and shading. Use a full value range of hues showing highlights, middle tones, and shadows to the best of your new abilities. We've been talking about shading spheres all this time. Post a self-portrait on the left and a drawing in full value range in color, pencil, pen, marker, crayon, paint, whatever materials you have available on the right. These can be abstract colors, not necessarily realistic skin colors, okay? But I want to see lights, mediums, and darks. So that's the objective. You might want to use complementary colors or warm colors or cool colors. Accurate sketch of self is worth 25 points. Accurate shadows, middle tones, and highlights is worth 25 points. Attention to details like eyelashes, brows, hair, value range, 25 points. Effort and participation, 25 points. So let's look at some of the examples. This could have been small. This could have been like a four by six. Right, Angel? I could see you doing something small this is more realistic colors and it has sense of humor i'm just trying to push the envelope here this one is done with non-realistic colors but it has lights mediums and darks all the things i've been teaching you all this time right you're intimidated or is this inspiring okay this is realistic this was probably like a, a four by six size okay it doesn't bigger is not better if you don't have a lot of time seniors 
Um, this one here, uh, this could have been a four by six. I could see somebody like Jasmine or Lillian or Juliana doing something like this. I'm just trying to get you to understand it doesn't have to be realistic colors, but you must have highlights, middle tones, and values. That's what I care about on this. That's the goal. Right, but you're going to draw to your best of your ability with the new skills you've learned in shade and do highlights and middle tones. That's the objective. He's all intimidated and trying to be goofy with me right now, live. Here's another example. I care more that you try and apply the learning skills. A reference photo is on the left, and then yours is on the right. This is more stylized and line-like and experimental, but it has lights, mediums, and darks. Same with this one. Okay? It has lights, mediums, and darks to make it three-dimensional. More realistic. I'm just trying to get you out of your comfort zone. Yeah, can you believe this is done with color pencils? Now, mind you, these people have special color pencils that you don't have. I don't expect your work to look to this level, but I'm showing you the best of the best to get your game higher, okay? If I showed you something really elementary, that's what you're going to give me. And that's not how I roll, okay? I want you to try the best of your abilities. Now, let's talk about the extra credit. The extra credit, slide 29, if you don't have to do it, and it's ex, it's 50 points. On the left, a photograph of you and a hand. So let's talk about that. I'm going to do a picture of myself in photo booth right now. <gasps> and a hand. Okay, obviously I'd have a face. Okay, so I'm going to try to take a picture. Ah, I lost it. One hand. That's two. I don't have to draw both. You know, take a couple of shots. Mess around. And then sketch it to the best of your ability. Whatever. Do you understand? I just embarrassed myself like crazy right now. So... You're going to do that, and you're going to do a sketch of it, okay? I've taught you guys how to do sketching. You did a lot of warm-up, fast sketches with a full body. You're lucky I'm not making you do a full body. And that's 50 points, a sketch in pencil, in color pencil. I don't care. So they're both self-portraits. Any questions? Any clarification about that? I think I'm trying to make it as easy as I can. All right, so I have a couple of students that have attendance late stuff, but I want to answer any questions right now for anyone that's confused about the, the rest of this time. Now, if you're not a senior, I know it says the due date is the 21st. Uh, you have till the end of the final, okay? The sooner you get things turned in, the better, because I like to get report cards done. Now, I've also loaded all your grades onto Aries. Everything that's posted, I've loaded. Now, if you turn something in late, double check that I that, that grade was loaded on Aries because a lot of times when it's late, it doesn't. Okay, that is your responsibility. Be like, Ms. Brown, I got a grade on Google Classroom, but it didn't load to Aries. Can you plug that in? So that's your job. I'm just a human, and computers make mistakes too, so you are responsible to advocate for yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and let you guys do your thing.